Well, we're finally on our way to um, starting to break down some electrical circuits, looking at some schematic diagrams, different components. And if you remember, we looked at this schematic diagram earlier on. This is still a pretty simple schematic diagram right here, but we're going to break it down a little bit further and look at the basic components of schematic diagrams and electrical circuits and the different states of the circuits. All right, so let's look at this one right here that we have. And the components in this circuit, in this pictorial diagram here, is a battery, a switch, a light bulb, and then the wires to connect everything together. Now, this is a DC circuit, so this is a direct current circuit. If you remember that, current flows in one direction. So in this circuit, current flows through the wire, through the switch, to the light bulb, light bulb lights, and we have that complete circuit back to the battery. Down here is our schematic diagram of what we're looking at up above. And there's, there's one difference between the two of these. If you, if you look hard enough, you can probably figure it out quite simply. And that is the switch in the schematic diagram is open. The switch in the pictorial diagram, or if this was sitting in front of you, is closed. And there's a difference between the two. And, and here's why. In, in, in a circuit, and in a circuit that's in front of you, so if this was sitting in front of you, you could open or close this switch however, whenever you wanted the light bulb to go on and off. Schematic diagram can't show you the opening and closing of the switch. It only shows you the state of the circuit with power applied, all the components at rest, and nothing running. So in this, in this schematic diagram, we have the battery, we have the switch that is open, and the light bulb, which is off. So this is at rest with power applied. And then for whatever actuates the switch physically up here, you have to mentally close that switch and visualize what the actual circuit is doing. Okay, so remember that all schematic diagrams, doesn't matter how big or how small, power applied, the system is at rest, meaning no motors running, no fans running, no light bulbs on or anything. It's just sitting there waiting for something to happen. Okay, every circuit, every electrical circuit that you're going to deal with from here on out is going to have a power source or a voltage source. So in this diagram, we have a battery right here, and we have the battery depicted right here in the schematic. and a load. And the load is, would be in this diagram is the light bulb here and here. In our HVAC equipment, they're going to be motors and compressors and pumps and so forth. So that those are the loads. Control devices, and I call those a switch. It could be a relay, it could be a contactor, or it could be, a, in this diagram, a switch that you can manually open and close. So you have a voltage source, you have a load device, you have some type of switching or control device, and then you have conductors to carry the current. So for a complete circuit, you need all four of these components. In this circuit, if the battery wears, doesn't, is, runs out, wears out, there's no more juice left, the light bulb doesn't light. If the wire breaks, the light bulb doesn't light. If the switch fails, the light bulb doesn't light. And if the light bulb fails, the light bulb doesn't light. So four things that can go wrong in this circuit right here, it's either going to be the voltage source, the load device, the controls which control that device, or the wires that are connecting it to make a complete circuit for that. So in, in the most basic and simplest forms, that is what a schematic diagram is. And as the schematic diagrams get more and more complex, you will trace them out and you're going to be able to identify the power, the control devices, the loads, and the wires and be able to trace that through 
and see what condition that circuit is in and where to start your troubleshooting. And that's the purpose of your schematics. That's the purpose of understanding electrical circuits and the different components in them. All right, so that's the end of the lesson. And uh, next lesson, we'll talk a little bit about Ohm's Law and how to apply that.